Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Just to, as I am sure you're curious, introduce to you who is sitting up here at the dais. We have with us the honor of Representative Ellen Bogdanoff, the majority whip of the I'm going to get that last name right one day. And Representative Adam Hassner, the majority leader. Mr. Lennon Greenberg, who needs no introduction, he probably built most of their homes. And our one and only, Senator Joseph Lieberman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take this opportunity to thank the Senator for taking time from his very busy schedule to be with us this afternoon to visit our community. I need to share with the Senator, before anything else, that you have chosen, Mr. Senator, what I have to report to you, the results of a demographic study out of the University of Miami, that this Jewish community, which prides itself in being the most concentrated Jewish population and fastest growing concentration of Jewish people outside of Jerusalem. <laughs> Being so, it is for this reason that on behalf of this great Jewish community, I take special pride in welcoming you, and especially you, with love. It's with divine providence that you have come, Mr. Senator, to visit our Chabad Lubavitch Judaic campus. I remember well the frequent visits you made while our Rebbe was with us back in Brooklyn to come and receive his blessings together with your wife, Hadassah, your inseparable and very special heroic partner in life. In fact, if I remember correctly, there were times you brought your renowned mother and you brought your children and grandchildren to meet with and receive the Rebbe's blessings. Those blessings from the Rebbe, those blessings from the Rebbe, you definitely have taken advantage of those extraordinary encounters with him and you've certainly seen to it that they have paid off for you. It is now that you stand in one of the most vaulted positions in the United States of America. You have become the, staunch, the staunchest, most powerful supporter in the Senate, a statesman with unwavering principles for all which we as Jews consider vitally important in our lives in this very, very troubled world. We laud you for this, we pray tribute for this, and as the Rebbe's emissary here locally, I want to personally and very warmly thank you and welcome you back to one of the Rebbe's homes, Beis Menachem. It is in this vein, in remembering the Rebbe, together with you and your loved ones, that I thought it would be valuable and meaningful to you to reenact the holy blessings which you received from the Rebbe through what has become renowned as his dollars for charity, which he used to distribute to those seeking a blessing from him. You certainly took his blessings and cashed them in well, working arduously representing our glorious United States of America in bringing true charity and justice to this world. And it's in this vein, in hoping to produce for you on your visit with us here, a very meaningful tribute to bring to the stage our future, for whom we all work towards, to bring up our children, to present to you a beautifully handcrafted sterling silver pushka, a charity box, with which they wish to continue the tradition for which you have come to Lubavitch 
to receive the strength to go on with your unmatched work of bringing godly blessings of our country, freedom, liberty, justice, and charity for all in an ever-growing measure.